Hi there! Another video with me this week, Aren't You Lucky? So this week's gospel doesn't really beat around the bush when it comes to the central message. Temptation bad, staying away from temptation, and saying no, good. And it's a good message for Lent as we enter this season of self-sacrifice and giving up the goodies that we crave day to day. But what sticks out to me most in this gospel story is the timing that they talk about. The devil waits the 40 days that Jesus has been fasting and praying in the desert before tempting him, waiting until he's at his weakest and his hungriest. And how often is that true in our own lives? Sure, we're constantly surrounded by some form of temptation or another, but doesn't it seem that when we're at our busiest and our hungriest, and whether that be emotional or spiritual or physical hunger, that the temptations around us just seem to multiply and grow and seem that much more tempting. Those moments also make it easier to justify giving in because we are tired and fed up with the world. So what would giving in or trying just a little bit hurt? So what will help us with this feeling like we're giving in? Look at the example of Jesus in the Gospel. After each temptation in the desert, Jesus returns to his center, scripture and his relationship with God. Can you think of a better way to combat the temptations of evil in our lives? Jesus models for us the strength it takes to stand up to our temptations, especially when he is at his weakest as well. So as the first Sunday of Lent has quickly passed by us in this very busy time of year, look at the temptations in your life, the big and the very small. And in the face of such daunting questions, remember your own center. Because in the end, we are all loved and protected by a God who is bigger than any fear or temptation that we could ever have. And he will be there every step of the way, just as it says in our second reading from Romans, that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, and no one who believes in him will be put to shame. So have a great week, and have a great Lent.